Tell me, what's going on? Why, why are you here? You know what's going on now. You're an aware and intelligent man. I can tell that now. You, there's nothing I can say that you have not already heard. Right. <laughs> but what would you like to see done? What would you like oh, to see accomplished here to, in this to country? support these young people. And, uh, the, you know, they have the spirit that we had back in the 50s and the 60s. And the fight for change. And the fight for a better world. And so. But I'll tell them the same thing. Don't trust the press, the mainstream press anyway. They're liars. They scheme, they're hypocrites. They were never our friends in the Black Liberation Movement. And I, and I see that you're, you're a product of the 60s. So you were there when Dr. The King, the uh, uh, with the uh, Black Panther Party and everybody else who are out there fighting for change in this country. Yeah, well, I sold you with Malcolm X for six years, you know, among other things, but I worked with different groups, you know, and uh, we were just trying to make a better world and make it better for... If, if, Malcolm, if Malcolm was alive today, uh, what do you think is, uh, uh, what, what, what would be his feelings with regard to this movement? Would what would be, be his thinking? He would be out here supporting it. And what about Dr. King? Dr. King would too. Now, Martin, Malcolm and Dr. King arrived to the same position at different times. But Malcolm was doing, but was saying things that it took King another five or six years to get to. Malcolm was denouncing the Vietnam War as far back as 1959. It you, took you, King a while to get there. You think uh, uh, President Obama is doing a good job? I think he's horrible. The man is a disgrace. And why do you say that? He's carrying on the same agenda that the oppressor has carried on. Why should, I didn't vote for him anyway. Because I knew what he was going when he when he denounced his pastor Jeremiah Wright for telling the truth. I knew he was questionable then. Then he go on television and denounce Minister Barragan. If you can't deal with the voices of truth, why should I vote for you? Thank you very much, sir. Right. Thank you. Good luck. And, and, and the Muslims helped that turkey get elected in Chicago the first time. You got to realize, man, it's either freedom or death. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Okay, my brother. All right, go. Urban yeah. Sound Station. Yes, yeah, give, give him a card, uh, Wayne. I want you to tune in and look at us on Monday nights. Okay, okay, okay.